What does Simic stand for in Dual Commander? If we look back in time, it's about power. Either with Adric, who was at a peak of tempo decks, or Uro being the best green-blue control commander our format has ever seen. Today, that's a bit different. With Keenan, we experienced a combo variant that runs both mana dogs and rocks. A slightly better option was given with Lonus, again a mixture between creatures and artifacts. On top of that, you even get to play lands control with Slogurg. And if that's not enough, with Ivy, Wizards decided to print another exotic commander. Seems to be the usual Zimic business from now on. But why would you even consider to play Ivy as your commander? Let me give you the three main reasons for that. First, you have unsatisfied cravings to finally play a deck with all the curiosities. You tried to do that with Wilson Blue, but it didn't work out the way you intended. Second, there is a subconscious desire within each of us to run down our opponent with two copies of Become Immense. And thirdly, you've seen Errand in the streets of New Capenna spoilers. It's such a cool card, but there was just no use for it. Now, that has changed. So let's finally take a look at our most important cards. Starting with our land base, we have Pendlehaven and, these days, the Quartet of Kamigawa lands that come with special abilities. Tectonic Edge serves as a removal for nasty lands and we should not forget to run snow-covered basics for our flash streaks. Of course, we have to play a good chunk of creatures to make use of Ivy's trigger. That's why we included a mix between quality and utility, with the option to play most of those creatures at instant speed. With a fairy in our command zone and a few in the 99, we should give a chance to spell status sprite. Errand, on the other side, doesn't add to the aggressive part of the deck. But as I said, we have a chance to try it out, so let's do that! Now, let's take a look at all the spells we want to copy. There's no reason to run this deck without the full Curiosity suit. Additionally, we included Rancor, because two Rancors are better than one, and Spider Silk Umbra as a cheap protection against removal. If you take a look at our instants and sorceries, there are two spells that stand out, Scale Up and Become Immense. Both of them fulfill a proactive purpose, to win the game quickly. When looking at the remaining spells, you'll figure out that we tried to include spells that can be used in a proactive and reactive way. These are cards like Snakeskin Veil, Wild Shape or Vines of Vastwood. Apart from counter magic and bounce, Simic doesn't have a lot of options to interact with our opponent's threats. That's why we added two phase-out spells to either protect our creatures from sweepers or single removals, while also being able to temporarily get rid of opponent's blockers. As already mentioned, we try to interact by countering our opponent's spells or bouncing their threats with Petty Theft, Snap or Unsubstantiate. Since we can deal a huge amount of damage in a short period of time, this deck is also a home to Psyronic Blast, either dealing with big boys or closing games in a red manner. And that's it already! Oh wait, I forgot to mention Oko. Sorry bro. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you have anything to add to this deck deck, write it down in the comments. Cheers!